Good day, YouTubers. Daniel from Down Under. Um, sorry about the long uh, awaited video of my new setup. Um, my current rate changed completely now. Um, managed to uh, put together a uh, open cockpit, um, basically 737 cockpit, which sits in front of me. Obviously, you guys can't see it. I have two PCs running it. Um, over the past six months, I've been trying to get my first PC, which consists of an 8 core processor, runs the, the displays. Um, which I have three of them. Uh, you can see the first one, which is the center one, but obviously there's one either side of this screen. Um, and then I've got two other screens beside me on the right, <coughs> which displays the Active Sky Next and all the ProSim software, etc., to run all my uh, MIP displays. But more importantly, um, there's not many videos out there that have a, uh, a config file uh, for three screens, number one, and also running it uh, in on a network configuration with a ProSim, you know, virtual cockpit setup. So I thought I'd run it by you guys. Um, I managed to get easily 40 to 60 frames now with the config file that I'm running, and that's with all the Orbex add-ons, all the add-ons, FS double add-ons, Active Sky Next running in network on my other computer to free up this computer and P3D version 3.4 the latest uh, SLI update which supports SLI considering I've got uh, two GTX 980 Ti's in SLI running these three skins in front of me so let's cut the small talk let's go into the app data and I'll quickly show you my config file which is basically running sweet now um, so as always, we'll go into um, our config, which is in app data, roaming, Lockheed Martin, and prepare three point. Prepare, we'll go down to our config file, and there she is, and I'll bring that in your view. So basically, there's a lot of speculation on whether we should have this or not. I have an eight core processor, and I'm running all eight cores um, which has given me the uh, the 255 Affinity Mask, um, being a 69, uh, 6950X or whatever it is, I can't remember what it was. It's about a year or so old now, but it's the 8-core processor. Um, as we scroll down, um, nothing much has really changed until we get to the display, which has basically added a few lines here. You've all seen this before. But that number there has given me fantastic frame rates. Um, also, this here also has been added in. Um, again, 30 is pretty standard for a lot of people, but I found it with my system works really well. Um, so texture bandwidth multi, 1024, and texture max load 30. So, so far we've got three add-on um, config lines. Um, down in the graphics section, we have pretty much the only thing that a lot of P3D users are struggling with Active Sky is uh, heavy cloud slows the sim right down. I found um, a little fix for that, which is the uh, shadow texture size, especially if you're running huge shadows in P3D. Um, normally that is 512, and I've changed that to 256. Um, <clears throat> which basically halves the um, process, halves the pixels, etc., of the shadow of the clouds. Which, at the end of the day, you can't tell the difference, but it makes your frames a lot more suitable for in heavy cloud instead of running into uh, basically a dead sim every time there's a bit of heavy cloud about. Um, Active Sky Next is obviously pronoun for that, but obviously. Um, all our settings in Active Sky Next would be mediocre, you know, layers set at 3 for example, and this set at 256 works really well. So try that, um, you'll probably find it'll work for you as well. Um, next is, um, oh, what do we got? Where else? Is, I think that's about it for that one. Oh yes, in the main section. Obviously everybody knows about that and this one also. Um, again, worked for me. I, I had this, um, which basically um, does exactly what it's saying there. Um, every time you start and stop the sim, 
uh, it, it supposedly reloads the sim clearing your VAS I think is what the uh, guy told me to use and how, why it was used but don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure but it does help restarting and stopping scenarios etc um, obviously that there I had a lot of uh, being the default value is 0.33 um, I found this to work quite well um, and it hasn't actually slowed my scenery down as such as far as loading up the scenery is concerned with blurries etc um, <clears throat> I think that's about it guys pretty straightforward uh, I don't think there's um, anything else um, obviously these are two standard if you don't have them just check to see that you do have them they are crucial as well um, terrain not much there uh, again these two here should be in there and you have in the terrain section which I'll get to, where's my terrain section terrain terrain oh sorry that was the terrain section so that's pretty much my config guys um, this is running P3D on 327 inch 1080 screens. Um, P3D is only the only program that I'm running along with um, vPilot when I'm flying online. This PC is basically dedicated to these two programs. I don't have anything else on this PC, including weather. Weather is on my other PC, which is sitting to the left of, sorry, to the right of me, and it's networked via um, basically SIM Connect which is in another video that I've I've done um, a lot of people struggle to network Active Sky um, between two computers a lot of ginning about but my other video explains how to do it there is a bit of a glitch in that video when I get a chance I'll redo it one day but hopefully you guys can figure it out um, if you follow um, basically um, uh, Active Sky Nexus uh, website uh, PDF on how to do it um, it's, I'm just recapping pretty much what that is so that's my config guys hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm gonna will do some other videos uh, in relation to um, uh, the setup I have um, time is a factor for me at the moment but um, yeah thought I'd share that with you guys um, take it easy and uh, I'll catch you later